that is uh, over time is i will show you uh, um, uh, three more uh, plants but uh, that will take more time so what i am thinking is i will show you some of the uh, work of uh, making uh, first moment how to create the first moment that is from nursery plants how to begin the literati style from a nursery plant that is step in this subject is uh, creation of the um trunk line that is uh, uh, from the nursery plant is, you know this is a uh, celtis australiensis it is a uh, you see it's a moment of the trunk everything is uh, natural is not a uh, wired is just a plant what you have to do is remove all the unwanted growth and they keep the moment of the trunk line you see this moment we have created now you keep it and put it in a slightly bigger pot and the branch formation and everything that we can decide later our main purpose is to develop the uh, trunk line you see this trunk line is having a this is the stop us to work similarly you have to start the um work like this i will show you some more or planning the gallery on a small leaf this is the first step when you get a uh, plant from a nursery just uh, prune it and uh, create this type of curve or along the trunk line don't think about the branches and everything just develop the trunk line then um, you can uh, develop uh, fix the apex that is uh, moving this way let it grow upwards the height you have to decide my own plant morning see how the curves are created by pruning so i am removing all the lower branches so that you can see the trunk line one the thick branch is on the back side that has to go this is a uh, um diasporus feria and the uh, well, after fixing the trunk line that is a first stage of work then we can uh, develop the branch now you see the trunk line it's a beginning then then, then allow of oh, this uh, growth upwards and it may go up like this trunk line this is a simple way of uh, creating the trunk line see a lot of branches even you could have some branch is crossing the main trunk that is also allowed you see you can grow it and you keep it like this crossing branches is also allowed in literati this is a very free style you got all freedom to create any moment Let's say this moment. These are all created. You see here. We have to make the sharp bend here. See, see the moment. In this way, you can. Uh, this is only a preliminary work. Then allow it to grow. And this is uh, one type of comifera. That is, I got it from Gujarat. And uh, this is a uh, very common uh, comifera from Tamil Nadu and Andhra and everywhere. There is a comifera order or something. 
And uh, another Komifara is also I am having Komifara from. You see, the moment uh, this uh, everything is. Uh, Here, this you can use this bend or you can make it smooth. But this is uh, not so good. I am removing that bend. This is a uh, one called before. This is also I am just to do the pruning and allow the plant to grow. Concentrate on its uh, tongue movement. That's all. In this way, you can develop trunk lines from the starting uh, trunk movement. See. In basic style, I will keep this branch. But here it is not necessary. You have to go upwards. Removing all the lower branches. See this trunk moment, the curve moment. It is going upward, and the it reaches the apex point, and then the apex is moving in another direction. You can keep this as like this, or you can make it upwards. Then when you make it upwards, the height will be more. And this is this it is better to make some bend and keep it like this. This is more beautiful. And another interesting aspect is with this branch. You see, this branch is growing this way. It is uh, crossing the main trunk line and it may grow like this. This is also so beautiful because uh, that is allowed in uh, neutrality. So you can grow it like this or you can grow it like this also. But in the see, it is not so good. It is uh, better. That is depends on personal taste. You can make it like this. And you keep it, it needs uh, some more wiring, and you do that. But you can do it here. This trunk line I formed, it is so beautiful. This is the second stage. Similarly, uh, I want to say about something about the pramana. There are three pramanas. Everybody is, uh, uh, a lot of people are growing two types of pramanas. This is one, it's a common round leaf. This is uh, all the lower branches. <laughs> And creating a trunk line. This trunk is, uh, this branch is not so good. It is very thick and uh, so you see this trunk line created. This is uh, one type of cremina. This is also good for literacy and. Uh, the other one is height we can increase any time. Anyway, this uh, this curve is important that created this curve. Another pramana is very common pramana. That is pramana microphylla. Here you see the curve. It is very arch like curve. That is generally you may feel that it is not good. But by the arrangement of the branches, you can increase the beauty of this curve. So, so many possibilities. You can make this like this, or you can bend it, keep it like this, and bring it again, bring it down like this. So, there are so many possibilities. So, the possibility you can do later according to your taste. But this is the way how to prune it and create the uh, trunk lines. See, this is also so beautiful. This is also so beautiful. Even if you bend it and cross it, cross the branch uh, on the right side and you keep it, that is also beautiful. So this is one pramana. One more pramana that is uh, I found from Kerala. Uh, that is uh, 
I found it along with the um, mangrove forest. That is, I will show you its uh, trunk movement. It is not good for any other basic strikes because of its uh, um, a long, uh, long growth. Long growth means uh, the distance of no, no, no compact growth. You see this curve. See, this uh, branch is coming down, skip it, and at the same time, one growth is coming. And uh, another thing is, this looks like an S shape. So that you have to change its position by extending or uh, bringing upwards so that you can create a beautiful literary curve. In this way, you can uh, utilize the nursery plants. And uh, one more plant I will uh, show you that is. Uh, it is also having a beautiful movement. Is, uh, so far, I have not done any work on it for literature. Just allow it to grow and then it has taken its own shape. And uh, now you have to fix its uh, movement. Generally, in literature, the branches must come down. Just like this. It's not meant for two times, so it has to be removed. Now just pruning. Can increase the height by making it upward, but uh, this moment is so good. This this we can design later. Now we are uh, utilizing the curve, this curve. So this is the way how to develop the trunk line when the plant is very young. And uh, so these are all the work, today's work. I think uh, we can. Uh, show the last uh, session display of some of the mommy bonsai that i will show you now some wooden piece uh, this is uh, beautiful for uh, literary display as a stool so i am placing it like this and uh, the woman is like this so in this way you can display this uh, this is uh, going this way and the plant is going this way the other one See, this is also another uh, wooden piece. You can see the piece, the side. So you can use this also for uh, literary small bones. If you want to, if you can create uh, uh, some bigger pieces like this, this is slightly bigger. But this also you can use for uh, for the display. You will see it's a natural.
this way you can uh, present uh, literati this is a small literati using uh, the stool stool must be like this then it is more artistic this is this with this i am closing my demonstration